This is the picture. We had a, a blown up picture that covered the whole page of this house right here as my wife and I designed it. My wife and I designed everything that you see here. And so this is the picture that we touched every day for seven years before we actually built the house. And so this is our dream on paper. Every blade of grass, every ounce of cement back here, I poured myself. Mr. Smith is really a common victim of predatory lending. In 2007, my wife and I secured financing to build our dream home. The loan that we got was a bait and switch type loan. And when I called the lender on it, the lender promised me a loan modification and in fact gave me a loan modification, but then sold my loan to a scratch and dent company that um, then proceeded to try to um, kick us out of our house by not honoring the loan modification we already had. The promise of the loan modification, however, was the lender's attempt to lull him into a false sense of security. Instead, what the lender did was they led him on and really engineered his default so that they could strip away his property via foreclosure. From the beginning, we knew that we were involved in a, a battle with a big bank, which was really scary. Myself, like thousands of other people, um, have a problem with their mortgage like us and, and, and they're searching through find law and other kind of legal resources to find out exactly what the problem is and at the end of the day they find themselves with more questions and they do answers. The key is to find the right lawyer that understands the law, understands how to um, access our rights as consumers and then exercise our rights in court. We were able to beat the bank at their own game and actually stay in our house. I discussed a legal strategy with Mr. Smith, we implemented that legal strategy, and we got Mr. Smith a great result. We got a court order for Mr. Smith allowing him to stay in his property at a reduced rate for his mortgage. Before, he was paying $5,800. Now, he's paying $2,000, and he gets to sue his lender for money damages. If we hadn't made that phone call, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. I would be somewhere else, and someone else would be in my home.